الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيق امتنان وشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له تعظيم لشان وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله دع إلى رضوان أما بعد الحمد لله الله has granted us another opportunity today we are doing another podcast and we will talk about many aspect and always in these podcasts we focus on the problems where they exist in our mix problem like magic problem like jinn possession problem like evil eye and shaitan al ashq and etc as for today we will focus inshallah with the sihr rizq as for this brother he's got sihr rizq and shaitan al ashq and etc assalamu alaikum brother abu hamna Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Sheikh. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Nice for you to be today sitting here and talking and expressing yourself. How are you and how, when did the problems started? Bismillah. So my problems, they started, or I was aware of uh, problems when, um, when I first got married. And that was, and how that old was, were you? Uh, 2006. Uh, How old were you by so then? I was 29. Subhanallah. 28. Yeah, 29. Mm, 29. Um, yeah, so it started around about, around about then. Um, I, I, I got married and I was, first of all, in terms of, the, I was, in terms of the knowledge that I had, it was very, very minimal in terms of spiritual issues. Mm. The community that I am from, and the uh, masjid that I, I used to frequent these issues they're not discussed and the people even the people of knowledge in the community they don't have knowledge in this field they live in a bubble they I, i'd say I'd, that's how I, that's the kindest way of, of saying it. they live in a bubble mm. and I, they might be good in other aspects of the deen but in terms of this they don't really uh, they don't deal with it mm. um, but the fact is the deen Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has explained everything. Absolutely. Uh, the deen should not be narrow. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. subhanAllah. Yeah. And when I, I, I got married and within, I'd say, within about a few days. Uh, of marriage? Was, yeah, a few days of marriage, I, I, I start having dreams where uh, I, I'm saying to myself, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. Mm, subhanAllah. I'm going crazy. And I, I'm thinking, well, why am I having this, this dream? This In the dream. I, mean, I didn't mention anything. So it's just a dream. I'm not. I'm not. There's nothing to talk about here. Mm. But what ha- what did happen is my, uh, there was a few people who approached my mum and and myself and they said, "Look, your father-in-law is well known for he he was a, a maulana, if you will. Okay, he he was an imam of a masjid, and he was quite a, a prominent figure. Mm. Now." He was known for giving out ta'weez to, to people who, who request it. Mm, uh, specifically. Uh, so he was a peer in, well, in short. He, oh, my uh, he, he was, he was a, a, an orthodox maulana, if you will, from mm. that community. Mm. Um, he was an imam as well. Astaghfirullah. And you know... Where was it? Birmingham, Luton, so, London? So it, it, he was an imam in, in not far from Burnley. All right, not far. North or yeah, folk north, from north, Bali, north right. in Lancashire, All right. and he he'd gi- he'd give so if if you had any issues, so for example, and this is what I was told. But if you want to separate, thing, yes, well, you go to him, you go is separate. Yeah, so there was an issue that a person went to them, uh, went to him, and the issue was that the mother-in-law was interfering with the marriage. Yeah. Oh, with that, the yeah. So so the the he. Prescribed at Atawiz where the mother-in-law doesn't want to be with the son anymore. Subhanallah. Tafriq. Yeah. The separation. Yeah, separation, that's yeah. what it is. Now I know that's what's here at Tafriq. Yeah. yeah. At the time, it was known as uh, white magic. Stuff. And I, when I hear that word white magic, it, it it's false. Because it's completely false. Yeah. And they use these terminologies, labels, to hide the kufr. Yeah. The, ex- that, that the truly disbelief. That yeah. the, 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 the use. Yeah. Anyway, at the time it was fine. Or oh, I thought, nah, what, what could possibly, what could it possibly, uh, you know, possibly be? be? I don't think yeah. I've, got, I don't think I've got sihir, mm. but I was aware. So, so, so I had awareness c- quite early on that this, this, why he does. Yeah. I didn't let it enter my head really. I'll Alhamdulillah. Be with you. But when you dream, 
Mm. You, in the night, you dream that you're going mental. Yeah. And you woke up and the next day. What would did you do? What did you react? How did you react? No, it, um, I was initially when I, when I had the dream, I completely ignored it. I thought it's just another dream. Um, I'm going to ignore that one until someone confirmed that this guy it was funny stuff. So I uh, immediately I thought, okay. So when I heard this, I goes, okay, I'm going to keep my guard up and and basically understand that someone he might try and do something. Mm. He might try and do something. I wasn't convinced he will, but he might try and do something. Unfortunately, at the time, I didn't know or the masjid or the, the people I was, I was around, the people of knowledge I was around, they didn't prescribe anything like morning and evening adhkar. adhkar. There was no mention of were it. You, were you praying then? I was praying, alhamdulillah. But no adhkar yeah. is morning and evening. No, because this wasn't... Uh, uh, this wasn't A common thing no. from the well, sect. We, yeah, yeah they, 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 they don't mention this. Mm. Now, well, these are facts. Nabi Allah yes, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did it. Alhamdulillah. I, you know, I always say this as well. Regardless of what happened in the last few over, years. Ten, over 10 years, yeah. I say this has happened for a, for a reason. For a, it, it's a blessing because yeah. it, it took me more closer to the sunnah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It definitely took me closer to, thun, to the sunnah and it... Um, Ultimately, the, the, you know, Allah, you go through this test for some time. To, for Absolutely Allah, true. This is what I always, I always say yeah. that sometimes you may be possessed or you have a magic, but deep down, it's a massive blessing. Yeah. It's not a punishment. Absolutely. And yeah. you know, honestly, Alhamdulillah, mm. I, I genuinely feel that. I've always felt that. I knew, uh, in even through through extreme difficulties when I went through. Um, you know, when, when when I eventually went through a divorce, even through those extreme difficulties, I, because uh, I had a, a, a son at the time, I, I, I thought, you know, Allah will, will help. Allah will of help. Of course. Allah will help. Allah inna nasr Allah al The victory of Allah and the help of Allah, yeah. it's very close. Absolutely. But uh, it's only those who have a yaqeen, a certainty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, subhanAllah. Yeah. And you know, um, in my religion at the time, I was... Far away. The group, the group that I was with, I was always searching. I'll be honest with you. I never sat in a group, uh, in in the, that particular group, and I thought, right, this is absolute truth, and you know, everything hunky dory. No, I never thought that mm -hmm. because I thought, okay, there, there's more. I need there's more. I need to uh, learn about the religion. But one thing I did find is that they weren't willing. They were quite happy with just the ABC of Islam, and that's it. The They're happy. If you're wearing a hat, if you have a beard, you're wearing a thobe, and you pray five times, and that's it. They're happy with that. Mm -hmm. Generally, they're, they're quite happy with that. Um, But that is not... Uh, Islam is more. Well, it's no, not it's only lot, wearing clothes. It's a lot more, yeah. of course. Subhanallah. Yeah, we ask Allah to protect us. Subhanallah. Mm -hmm. I mean... You know, Allah says in the Quran, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. وَجْعَلْنَاهُ أَئِمَّةً يَدْعُونَ إِلَى النَّرِ In Surah Al-Qasas 41, we made them imam who are calling people to hellfire. You know, if you know, if you see an imam that he's not opening up the religion of Allah, he's hiding and he's following one way, you should fear. Subhanallah. Uh, because the religion of Allah is, uh, is deep. Absolutely. You cannot learn it in one day. Take years. Yeah. Years to learn. Because it's so deep. The how many hadiths. How many verses of the Quran? We ask Allah to make us yeah. the learned ones. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. And today, you know, mix uh, brother Abu Hamna, there is a lot of dodgy sects. That's why the Ummah is suffering. Yeah. No, a no, lot definitely. of people who yeah. are hidden, yeah. they've got hidden agenda. You wonder who are they working for? Yeah. Are they working for the Jal? Yeah. Uh, because. Uh, The jal when he will come, there will, there will be a preparation, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we ask Allah to protect us. Amen. So I was doing a lot of a lot of soul searching. Uh, I was always doing that anyway, really. I was, you know how to improve myself. Um, to find out what's the problem. Well, it's not, at the time, it, it, as far as I was concerned, at the time there was no problem. Mm. At, the, at the time, how I, long I, I was did still it, search anyway. Yeah. How long did it take for you to realize? The, so what happened? There was an incident uh, took place where. My uh, wife at the time, she asked 
uh, she wanted me to go to Bangladesh with her. And my, my mum, she said, don't go. I don't think it's a good idea. Mm. Because you wanted because, to murder you. Well, there were... <laughs> The, 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 yeah, kind of it, there, there was a lot of rumors of what this guy was doing, mm. and there were some of some of the the sources were credible. What made you marry uh, from those well, at the uh, time, uh, from that uh, you know, type of Allah, family? Th- because mm. uh, you must have heard what they are doing, or no, you, you kn- know, no, uh, this or we all we only heard about these things well after. After you get married, yeah, mm. after. Mm. But the thing is, we. It's only that, that there was there was a few sources who mentioned that this, you know this is what this guy does, but we didn't know it was wrong. I didn't think oh, is it wrong? Is it really wrong? Mm-hmm. What he's doing is a is a maulana. How can mm-hmm. it be wrong? Absolutely so true. Yeah. But when I refused to go but to Bangladesh, but that is lack of knowledge, and that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. When, when I when I refused to go to Bangladesh, uh, my wife at the time she went mad. Was furious, mm. and those big f- arguments started. And uh, then, and then you get straight away, you know, when you're under duress, when you when you when you don't get your way, you'll see how a person reacts. And mm-hmm. she didn't get her way, and her reaction was quite uh, quite extreme mm-hmm. uh, at the time. And she, I said, look, if you want to go to Bangladesh, you visit your family, go by all means. So mm-hmm. she went with the family that she went. And I always thought they're gonna come back with stuff, mm-hmm. with with. With, uh, you had a uh, feeling. Yeah, I had a feeling. Mm. Because this is very it's, in our community. But this is very common. W- how did you have that feeling? What what made you have that feeling? Did you found something that uh, this, these people are doing something on you? Well, when the, when she went to Bangladesh, when they came back on the first day, uh, I, br- I p- picked them up from the air- airport. I went to their house, the in laws' house. Mm. I remember very distinctly, very clearly, vividly. They were going through the luggage. They were unpacking everything, and he said, "And he had with him sweet crepes. Crepes is like pancake. Mm. Inside is like a uh, like sauce and uh, chocolate sauce or something like that. And apparently, it's a delicate. As far as I'm, I'm aware, it's just a normal crepe, uh, but." He said, "No, this is specifically for you." No, no, no. And, and he, I remember because my sister was there as well. She was witness. He said, "No, no, this, this one's for Mustafa. This, this one's for Mustafa." And I straight away, I said, "I'm not having this." So I got it and I put it to my mouth, and uh, the, uh, Subhanallah, amazing. But um, I, I, I started coughing straight away, and I, did, I, I said, no, "I don't really fancy this," and and I, and I just had a little the first bite. And that was there to put it down. Mm. Anyway, that was that. That was that. This is where somebody wants to do something to you. They do well, that. Yeah. They tell you specifically, yeah. this is for you. Yeah. A few years back, around four years or mm-hmm. five years, there was a brother who I knew very well. He's in the masjid. I see him frequently. He traveled abroad. When he went abroad, he was in the mix of the people. He visited the people yeah. who he visited. Yeah. And they specifically pointed out this is specially for you from all the mem- the people yeah, are sitting yeah subhanallah this is how it is this people need to be aware of that when somebody is telling you this is special for you you should be why am i so special or why is this so special for me you should have uh, yeah uh, suspicious subhanallah mm. so after that i um i don't think there was any uh, as far as i was concerned at the time there was no sihr Mm. Maybe, may not be. Ah. You know, I'll be honest with you. Because I, you never knew, or you knew that well, fellow. Well, you know, as far as I, uh, my belief in Sihar wasn't strong, Shay. Right. I'll be honest with you. Mm. I, I, it happens to others, but me, I don't. I don't think it would happen. That's what I thought. Because mm. uh, I was like, oh, does it really happen? Is it is it mental issues and whatnot? I saw if, I, if I'm strong in my head, mm. then it's not going to affect me. A lot of people in India are denial about yeah. sihr. A lot of people. Yeah. We ask Allah to protect us from these people. I mean, yeah. This is fact. The sihr is fact. Yeah. Absolutely. What happened then when your mother, your sister was there and you start coughing? So yeah. So basically, we, we left it at that, and but we had issues. I I knew. I felt that they definitely. They, these, they, they're not, they're not trustworthy people. Mm. He's not trustworthy, and she's definitely not trustworthy. And if I'm honest with you, there should have been 
we should have separated then really mm, straight away yeah we should have but because money was spent on the wedding and da, 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 mm, and this that, is the problem was making upset, the wedding yeah. wedding big yeah well mm. that there's that issue mm. as well so yeah. wedding needs to be small yeah subhanallah mm. another big big thing in our community unfortunately mm. but um anyway what well, we we never we never really had a, a normal husband and wife relationship mm, subhanallah tell me what happened tell so, me after you, you when you discovered so and your relation and yeah, your risk and all these i thought i thought uh, I, by the way i i had risk issues pretty much straight away because i spent i i, I decided to open a uh, printing uh, design and print office mm-hmm. studio mm-hmm. I spent a lot of money good, good to over a fifteen sixteen grand or something like that mm, that's a huge number it's a lot of money at the time two thousand six it was a lot of money mm. and even uh, today is a lot of money yeah it's really, yeah, of course it is mm. yeah, right now you have definitely yeah mm. um and the as soon as I opened the business you know uh, i i at the time i didn't think oh no there's there's something wrong with me um there's seher on i didn't think that at all. I thought no this incompetency from my end mm. I'm not getting this right I need to fix it. I was very headstrong in that in that regard. Mm. I took responsibility for anything that's not in my um, that's not going right. Mm-hmm. So I try and rectify that. Um but the arguments were really like suddenly not not suddenly but gradually Build the arguments, yeah there were just there was always issues we are in the way. Yeah. Mm. Always issues. Now at home, there's issues. What about the business? Business the same. Uh, everything same. you invested yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, and, and I fell out with the with the with the person who it was a franchise, printing franchise. It was. Right. I fell out with the person is a woman, and she actually fell out. She hung the phone <laughs> phone upon me because I didn't take her her advice. Mm. Uh, I said, look, Burnley is a very strange place. No one's going to pay these prices, so I I, I don't want to. Sell, for, uh, sell at a certain price. Anyway, she, we fell out over this, mm. and she was the main person and main person I was dealing with, and my business suffered because of that. Mm. But um, in fact, it wasn't the it was the sad having. I, I, an, at the time, yeah. I, I, at the time, you didn't know. Yeah, no, not yeah, at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, Tell us about your business before we go to. Yeah. So uh, the, the, look. The, in, in, no, before I got married, yeah. I was in a, good, a design studio. Mm. Uh, I was earning money. Uh, but even then whilst I was earning money I do I, I've always had issues well I, di- I didn't I didn't blame it on and see her or anything or mm. I you know anything like that Mm-mm. but there was definitely something I'd always lose money Th- and that's before marriage before marriage oh, right. I'd always lose money and something would happen something very strange would happen uh, lose money through the car uh, through my uh, th- but it wasn't I was still earning, Sheikh. Alhamdulillah. Mm. I was, was getting good money it, yeah, yeah. in, Alhamdulillah. But I wasn't, there was no barakah in it. I felt there was no barakah in, in, in my money. Because you're not engaged in salah, you're not again yeah. engaged in the correct yeah, for, way. For two years of, uh, before then, mm. two, three years before then, I was, Alhamdulillah, I was praying, Alhamdulillah, five alhamdulillah, times. Right. I read the Quran regularly, Alhamdulillah. Uh, but when, when I... When, it, Did you used to give charity? When in the business, yeah, alhamdulillah, you used to give that. Yeah, we, right. we gave uh, gave charity, but it wasn't regular. It was like every so often, he he has you know a yeah. large sum. It was that kind of charity. Yeah, you need to be regular yeah, for be your regular. for yeah. you to, for your business to have yeah. a baraka. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. So um, the, it uh, things got bad, really bad between us. after marriage. Point, yeah, within about a year. The, now your business was settled. You're getting money. You're getting everything. No. No. No, 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 no. This is before the marriage. Oh, before the marriage, yeah. And was, after yeah. marriage, everything went poof. Yeah. So uh, after the marriage, yeah, the business was, went. Yeah. It was. It was down. very difficult. Like I couldn't. I knew. Uh, ordinarily, I'd, I'd I'd be able to speak to people in a, um, and I I, I I can explain the the work that I'm doing, why they should use me uh, as a designer and, and and whatnot, and I, I could talk about my products quite with confidence. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But you know what? All that went out the window. After marriage. Yeah. After that. Yeah. When after I started eating business, the cake. Yeah. Or after. Well, I, you know, I, I don't know whether it was cake. I don't know what it was. But I'll be honest. Even to this day, I don't know. I do know they did a lot of things. Sihir, yes. They did a lot of things. 
But I found that out later, Sheikh. A lot later. Let me tell you something. One minute. <clears throat> Let me pause you for a mm. bit. Seher, mm. black magic, when they do, they don't do one. Ah. They, they do so many. Right. Yeah. They do tafriq, uh, se, um, junoon, m example, separation, crazy, business, yeah. uh, d sickness, yeah. disability, all this. Sometimes they all trigger at one time. Sometimes few, yeah, sometimes nothing happens. It only happens by the will of Allah. That's why, if, like you said, they must have done so many. Mm. But you know, uh, we had one particular, um, there was a, a particular incident where the father-in-law was involved, mother-in-law was involved, and they were very aggressive, very aggressive. On you? Yeah. They said, no, you have to, I didn't even understand the language, I'll be honest with you. Um, there, there was an the argument happened and we were in Birmingham. Uh, my father-in-law and mother-in-law, they actually moved to Birmingham from Lancashire. They moved to Birmingham. And um, we went to visit, me and my wife, we went to visit. And subhanAllah, they made me go, go back home, left her there and go back home. And he said, right, she's not going to come home. You know, this is one of the things which is very common for in Bangladeshi community and uh, Pakistani communities. Mm -hmm. You know, when the person gets married, yeah. the man becomes secondary. Yeah. The father and the mother become primary. Yes. While in Islam is the other way around. Yeah. Allah Rabbul Izza says, Wali Rijalu Darajati. Wala Hunna Mithulu Ladi Alehina, Wali Rijalu Daraja. Yani, man and a woman, they need to cooperate, they need to love each other. But the man is higher up. Yeah, yeah. The father and the mother remain the father and the mother. But when the woman gets married, the father, the mother, pictures yeah. out. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't understand why these yeah. parents. It's a lot of ignorance. They behave, yes. yes. It's a lot of ignorance. They don't support their, support their daughters. Um, they break yeah. the marriage. They break. I know so many and today. Yeah. And in this, in this particular incident, it was actually the mother-in-law. She was, she was the one who used to wear the trousers, if you will. Subhanallah. And she was very aggressive. Yeah. She was. Uh, and Did she, when yeah. I came back, Sheikh. I left Birmingham. I came back, and then I called. Why is it? Why, you know, why is she, uh, when is she gonna come? Kind of thing. I, I, I was asking them because she's not gonna come back. I was, I was like, well, hey, what's going on here? Do you know the normal because thing would have been? They I, wanted I didn't to miss rule you, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't miss her. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, there was nothing about her. To say, you know what? Keep this marriage. But you know what? I woke up in the morning, and hundred percent now. I know what I felt. I woke up and there's a strong feeling, really extreme feeling that I miss her. And that feeling lasted for about a minute. Full, full the one minute of extreme feeling. Jinnis. So what she did, what she did, what is she? Seher. And then I texted her. And do you know what, Sheikh? Subhanallah. Um, that's where everything started for me, uh, the, the Seher issues. Subhanallah. So, and, and I still wasn't aware, Sheikh. I wasn't aware until... Tell me about it. Until... Interesting. I uh, spoke to my family and said, look, they were saying she's no good. She's no good. The family's no good. Leave her. But you know what I did? I left the fa my family I, without telling them. I went to Birmingham and... Told him. Yeah, I said, look, I'm going to take her back kind of thing. And I stayed and I ate there as well one day in their house. And I came back. When I came back, it was exactly the same. Within, feeling. within a few weeks, no, it's, it's back down. We went back downhill again in terms of the relationship. Um, she was always, uh, she was saying, look, we should go to Birmingham. Should, you know, you get jobs there. The first time she mentioned I should move, leave my family and go to Birmingham and live there because of the jobs. And as straight, I was very suspicious. And things again, they started going down again. I, anxiety, I started developing anxiety. My business was absolutely crumbling. And that's when I first started thinking, right, guy, they, these guys, they might be doing something on me regarding my business so I can completely fail in Burnley. And even in my back of my mind, I was thinking, maybe, maybe if I go to Birmingham, um, it'll be more peaceful and my business will do better because it's a city. Mm. Well, but, in fact, it was driving you. But, but you know what, Sheikh? I, um, 
I, de- I, I, I decided to stay, stay obviously stay with my family and everything. I've got my, you know, my mother, my father, Rahimullah. Mm. Um, and things got so bad. And it was very clear that they were doing, do, they're doing something. To, I could, I just could feel something not, not it's right. Not right yeah. I was falling out with clothes. business is taking yeah. a hit. Yeah. Everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I was starting falling out with my mother, my my sisters. Tell me about it. Tell me about the mother. Yeah. So my mother, my mother, everyone, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, my mother, she's very, uh, uh, generally a very passive person. Um, she's not, not one of those aggressive types or anything. If if anything, she's probably too passive. Um, but we developed so, such anger towards each other, you know. Hatred. Yeah. Or, 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 we couldn't be in the same room. Mm. It, it became like that. It was the sihr because the sihr either they'd done it on both of you, yeah, or by using your mama's name. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, it's, it's very. It, I, I this is no mul- yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mm. something, uh, something happened. It was very interesting. Mm. One particular day. Uh, um, she went back to the, the, the in-laws. They decided to leave Birmingham and come back to Rottenstall. They left uh, uh, Birmingham. They don't want to live in Birmingham yeah. anymore. They, they came back to uh, back to Lancashire. Mm-hmm. And I thought, that's, that's interesting. They came back and so they'd, 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 they'd take a daughter as well to their house and she'd stay for two, three days at a time and, and you know come back for one day and go back for three days. It was like, That's what the relationship was like. Mm, and... One particular day, she went away, and I, Subhanallah, I was I, I, because I felt I had sihr, or something was done on me. I, I'd, I'd read, I didn't know what to read, but I said, you know what, I'll just read the Quran and I keep asking Allah for help, and I, I, that's what I kept, kept doing. I goes, there's, there's no harm in this. This is mm, what I'm gonna do. Mm, so absolutely, there's only benefit in this. Yes, uh, but I didn't know what I had to read or anything. I just read Surah Yasin about seven, eight, seven times, and this Surah. And Baqarah and a bit of Baqarah and mm. uh, lots of du'as and I'd, that's what I I do at night. Um, and then one night, I, I, it was I remember three o'clock or something. Three o'clock, uh, I think it was. It was summer. I had the probably one of the. Uh, it, was, it was probably the strongest, sharpest. It was a ru'ya. Mm. It's a very sharp vision, mm. very clear. In that dream. There was my ex-wife, my wife at the time, and the father-in-law. And both of them, they were running around, grinning, smiling, laughing, and they were like shayateen. Subhanallah. The father-in-law, he doesn't have a beard in that dream. He's like, his face is like it's very strange, but it's definitely him. It's definitely him. And, they woke, and, and I woke up, and it was like, I woke up, and it was like, I saw what I saw. And and I was convinced, hundred mm-hmm. percent, that that's what they're doing. This this is what these guys are doing. So again, no knowledge, Sheikh. I made another mm. mistake. Straight away, I texted him. You told him. I said, I thought if I tell them, because I know what you're doing, they'll stop. I said, I know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I've seen very clearly that you guys are doing this. In the dream. Yeah. You told him that. No, I told him in real life. I, I texted oh, yeah. him. This yeah. is this is this is wrong. Yeah, it's completely, it, it completely makes wrong. it worse. I uh, I advise a lot of uh, people like that. There was a brother who I read on him about two months ago. Mm. I told him, listen, don't tell whoever you suspect. Or he goes and tells him, man. <sighs> you know what happens? The situation became bad. Yeah. He texted him the ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah, one or two. And then they start telling him, those who are doing magic will be punished. So you are telling them. <laughs> yeah, subhanAllah. Yeah. yeah. You are telling them. And he goes and start calling them. I know your magician is in, yeah. uh, in Bangladesh. <laughs> and you know, because um, the, my, my in-laws family, they thought that I was doing tawiz. Because how did, you know, how did he know? How do I know? Yeah. They, pro- they probably thought I went to another Maulana. Peer. Or a Peer Sab. Mm. Um, to find out. If I had magic done or not, but no, I didn't. I I, I had the it's I had the vision, vision. yeah. And Subhanallah. Uh, what happened after the text? After after, uh, you know what? Eventually, she didn't respond to it. 
didn't respond at all. I said, and then in person when we saw them, goes no, we're not going to do that. And the the mother-in-law, she was saying, no, we don't, we don't, we don't believe in this. The woman who wear trousers. Yeah, yeah she, and they said, and the father-in-law was saying, no, we don't. We, and in your village, maybe, but in where we're from, is city. So we don't do this, and we don't believe mm. in this. Magic has no city or uh, no I, village. I, I, I'm thinking, okay, they're trying, they're trying to calm me down, so yeah. to speak. But let me tell you something. Magic has no city. No. And has no village. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Look how the terminology is. Yeah. The deception. They try to, yeah, they're, well, yeah. they're, and they're, tra- they're trying to get me to calm down and relax. And they're being really nice to me and everything. They're making king prone dishes and everything for me. And guess what, Sheikh? I said, you know what? I got, it was okay. Uh, things went. When I was in their house in Rostall, it felt so good. It felt so peaceful. Mm. When I come home, it's different. Completely because, different. Because, because it's the magic. The magic is pulling you. You understand the magic they're doing is pulling you. They want to control you. Allah Akbar. Yeah, they want to control you. But then, mm. uh, then mm. we sort of tried to have a normal relationship. We had a child. Mm. We had a child, Sheikh. And uh, before then, before the, uh, 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 my son was born, I, uh, I, one of the brothers advised me to. I, I, I mentioned this to a few, uh, another few brothers. Yes. Mashallah, this, this guy. Alhamdulillah, he is Imam of Masjid, uh, and he's he was he gave me good. He generally gives good advice, but he didn't have knowledge on this issue, so mm-hmm. he misadvised me as to the person that I should go and see. Mm. So one one particular brother told me to go and see someone who's local. So so that that time mm. you are thinking I have a problem, I need help, mm. and you're searching yeah. which Imam to go, yeah. which person to go. Yeah. So yeah, I was I was searching everywhere. I want mm. want one guy. Mm. Tell me tell me about who which imams, the, all of them, the one you went and the one who gave you the correct yeah. advice and the shaitanic imams. Right. So with one particular imam, he he completely dismissed me. I said, look, I have this issue. I keep seeing. Uh, oh, by the way, my dreams mm. they they were just going all over the. Uh, they, they, they were, they, I was seeing a lot of snakes. I was seeing. Uh, I'm climbing. I see uh, 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 rivers, uh, dead animals, random. But I thought they were random dreams, and I didn't think much of it. I'll be honest with you. Mm. It's only the snake ones when I, I saw a snake chasing me and it actually bit me. Mm, subhanallah. Uh, on my back of my heel, on my left left leg, mm. on my he- heel, it bit me. So uh, that's the one that concerned me. So I, I that's when I started. Said right, I need to go do something to, about yeah, it. I need to do something about mm. it. I went to a local guy first, and the guy he dismissed him completely. I don't think he wanted to deal with me, right. so he said, "Your your mind is weak. You just have almonds." <laughs> so, Sheikh, at the time, yeah. he's someone I went to for a plea for help because mm-hmm. I was so low. So he thinks your mind is weak. Well, yeah. So I thought. Well, in fact, so there's a con- problem here. Yeah. He didn't convince me that it's not sihr. I no. was convinced it was sihr then. Because, and then from there, you went to another Maulana. Yeah, and. Being a very positive person, I started becoming, becoming negative, and I was started feeling scared all the time, and, and anxiety, mm. and subhanallah. These are all symptoms I of sihr. So I, I left. The, uh, so that guy he dismissed me. I went to an, an, a brother said, "Go to another guy. This person, um, he'll help." The, these are all based in your town. But you, yeah, mm. and I went to this guy. Mm. And this, this is Burnley, isn't went, it? Yeah, it's in Burnley, mm. and he basically put a ruler or something on my head. On my head, yeah. and and he's calling upon the his jinns. Astaghfirullah. M- and he's calling them names. He goes, come on, come, come on, quick, quick, come, come. Is is? is I'm thinking, hey. <laughs> so, and I said, you, but I've got to keep my eyes closed all this time. Subhanallah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he he looked, uh, he checked it out, so so to speak. Uh, we kept asking the jinn to come. So where are you? Where are you? Stop messing about. Stop playing about. This went for ten minutes. Nothing would come. No jinn would come. So he stopped. After about 15 minutes or so, he stopped. Because no jinn was coming. Mm, to to him. Head. Yeah. Right. To, to him. To, 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 uh, anyway, uh, then he said, I don't know what he goes. He goes, I hadn't, he speaks Urdu, this guy. And, and my friend, mashallah, he speaks, he speaks English. And he, and he meant well. He meant really well to try and help me, to, you know, took him to, the, uh, to take me to this guy. And the guy, in Urdu, he asked him, he, goes, he said, is this guy... Is he a, is he a Molana? Regarding me, you, is he, yeah, if I'm Molana, and he goes, no, he's not Molana. I goes, uh, no. He, he, how much has he studied? I goes, he hasn't studied. He's just a normal fella, normal guy. 
I goes, okay. Well, you know, he's got, look, I know this nonsense now. Yeah. He said he's got 27 different kinds of magic to be done on him. And he shouldn't be standing. So uh, Meaning he should fall. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I should be. I should have gone crazy, apparently. Mm, subhanallah. Now I know it's nonsense, Sheikh. Yeah, yeah. What I've been said is nonsense. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, nonsense. Absolutely believe it. That is absolutely nonsense. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Anyway, true. and then he said, his aqidah must be solid. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. At the time, now I'm thinking, mate, if you know my aqidah, what yeah. my aqidah was at the time, yeah. you'd call me a Wahhabi or something. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> true. true. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Because he, this brother, he was from a, a Sufi background. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I didn't get no treatment from him. Mm-hmm. I said, look, I'm just going to carry on with my salah. As far as I'm concerned, if I can pray five times a day, Alhamdulillah, that's perfect. away from sins, yeah. then inshallah, Allah will show me the way. Alhamdulillah. After that, that, you went to another one. And after that, Sheikh, uh, things were still getting bad. Mm, subhanallah. This, they, they, they were getting bad. Um, but the thing is, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know, still didn't know where to go. Um, and I, I, I went to another person who, another imam, said, go, go to him. He's a well-known guy. He's an imam of a big masjid in Bradford. He's a top gun. Yeah. He's an imam of a big masjid. You know, I feel like saying his name. Man. Yeah, come on. Right. His yeah. name is Mufti Siraj. Subhanallah, the shaitan. And as far as, far as I was concerned, the group I was with, he's a mufti. He's from my group. This guy's legit. Mm. Very quickly, we find that he's not legit. What happened when you went to him? The first time, there was a, um, he lit a candle and said, look into the flame. It was, it, 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 two of us went. And there was another person who was ill as well. So he said, look into the flame. And, uh, and, and, and gave, me, gave us the thawiz and stuff. Uh, so he gave some papers, thawiz, burn it, and taking the smoke. Inhale it? Yeah, inhale it. While he was there? Uh, no, they do that at home. But while he was there, while we were there, he he was basically uh, told us to to look at the flame and, and whatnot. And then what happened? Uh, anyway, nothing. I'll be honest with you, there was nothing. Mm. I went to another one a, a month, two, three months later, and that was a shocker. This one was a shocker. Same Siraj. Because yeah, but because this guy is an imam, he's a mufti. So you went back to the same Siraj yeah, after two months. Same guy and. Uh, um, it might have been more than two months. I can't remember, Sheikh. It mm. might have been six yeah. months later. What happened when you went to him? He said something. I look back and I think, what on earth did he just say? Mm. The person who was with me, they had uh, seer issues. Mm. Um, and he said, your magic was done by a Buddhist. Subhanallah. Straight away after getting inside. Yeah, well, no, after... A few minutes. Yeah, after a while. Mm. He said it was done by a, a Buddhist... To reverse it, to reverse it, kufr has to be performed. Subhanallah. The way he said it, yeah. he was waiting for our reaction. To respond. Yeah, our response. I uh, I heard it and I sort of didn't hear it because did I just hear that? I didn't think much of it. Mm. When we went back later on, a month, a month or so later, the person who was with me said, did the guy just say what, uh, uh, what he said? And I said, yeah, man. What did he mean by that? Later on, Sheikh, now we know that this this particular individual... Is it Shaitan? He's, he's not good. He's not someone you want to go near. Yeah. He's he, not someone you want to go near. He's a devil. And subhanAllah... You ask Allah to protect us from the devil. Independent other, there's many, many, many people who've complained about this individual, this guy, and the work that he does. And he, he, even on the internet now, you'll, you'll find loads of people uh, making accusations mm-hmm. about the stuff that he's doing. Refuting him. Well, yeah. Say, look, this is what he's done to my family. You and know, I know what he's doing as well. Yeah. You know when, uh, why did he say uh, you should commit kufr? Because yeah. to you, reverse it. Yes. You are, he's already upon kufr. Yeah, subhanallah. Because he's already a magician. So he wants to drag more followers. La ilaha illallah. Yeah, and some people fall short. You know what, Sheikh? Even now, I'm, I'm, th- I'm thinking, you know, how can this guy... I, I, I'm reluctant to say anything about this guy's... I said, you know, Allah's going to deal with this individual. Man. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I have quoted this and I'm going to mm. quote it again. Mm. 
الله سيز إن القرآن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وجعلناهم أئمة يدعون إلى النار we've made them imam calling upon hellfire and this is black and white he's an imam of the masjid but the people who have no knowledge think he's an imam correct imam but the ones who Allah has opened their eyes was Allah says the one who's in the dark and the one who's in the light they are not the same the one who in the dark will remain in the dark the one who in the light will see this one is not correct and this guy is an imam of a big masjid and how many people imagine you t- he's telling you and your friend like that how many people has he misled and put them in the kufr how many died upon kufr when he misled them we ask Allah to protect us from kufr and you know in public Sheikh, mm. he gave a lecture he gives lectures he's not is an is imam yeah so when he gives his lectures regarding spiritual issues what does he talk about do you know what he talks about no he says the answer to seher to ayn all these things is ruqya ruqya sharia quran hasbunallah ni'mal wakil and you'd think this guy's legit yeah and i'm think i'm getting I, i recently came across a video and i'm getting really angry I said, this guy... <laughs> there's a lot of them are like that. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of shaitan. This is why I just quoted yeah. the verse in Surah Al-Qasas yeah. 41. Yeah. Allah has told... You know when you go to Quran, mm. the Quran, Allah has not hidden anything. Allah says in this book, we've explained everything. Yeah. Subhanallah. Yeah. I, and then I, and I went to another guy. Mm-hmm. After Bismillah, him, yes. Another guy, another local-ish guy. And this guy, he works with... A Sheikh al Hadith. Sheikh al Hadith someone who teaches Hadith in a prominent uh, Darul Room. Mm-hmm. Prominent, are... I mean, we're talking prominent individual, prominent guy. Mm. And they work work together. They both do Ta'weez and everything else. SubhanAllah. Now, this particular individual, I didn't go to the other guy because mm-hmm. he's, he's busy or whatever. Right. So I went to him. Um, I just want to do, uh, just, just talk, you know, uh, about the issues and everything. Again, dismissive. Uh, he, 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 the Tawiz that, that he made up is, is, I'll tell you, it, it was, it was, it was a, uh, it was written in red ink, red ink, and um, some of the stuff that was written in there is, I'll tell you uh, what was written. Yeah, come on. It says, Allah, I can see that Allah, Allah, and then it says Billah, and then it says, Allah Billah Tilla Chilla Milla, random, and then it goes squiggly. It gets worse. The and names worse of worse. the jinns. Do you know what, Sheikh? I don't know what they are. Does it have boxes or no boxes? I, yeah, it's got boxes, yeah. 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 And, and, How many boxes? And, and it's wrapped up in red um, thing, uh, red thread. string. Yeah, red red thread. string. How many boxes? Uh, I can't remember, Sheikh. Yeah. Can't I'll remember. tell you one thing. Uh, this is good for the audience to know as well. Mm. The ta'weez, mm. you will always find in four boxes or three boxes. Ah. Always. The three boxes and four boxes, they can do hundred and hundred and thousands of type of magics. Talasim is called magic of writing. Sayyidu Talasim. You know, uh, yeah. wow. Well, but uh, a lot of people are not aware of I, it. I, you know, I, I took mm. the Taweez. Mm. Uh, but anyway, what, what did I t- tell you what did happen, Sheikh? Um, I, I, had already, I already had a, ch- a child at the time. Uh, so I was very concerned about him because I, I, I need him to settle down, mm. you know. Um, and I took that taweez. I took a ta- taweez. I don't know if it was that one or another one from another guy. Mm. But I, I, I didn't wear any of the taweez, by the way. Mm. So you any. got so many taweez yeah, just looking for was, help. Was, you don't know too, where to go. And I your never, business yeah. is taking a hit and your yeah. marriage is taking a hit. Yeah. And you're, you're confused. But, you are yeah. your mom yeah. and you are not getting alone. Your house, you're not feeling no. peace. And my sisters, I, did, I stopped talking to them. Yeah. They argued. And All I, of them. I kept thinking they're against me and I'm against them. That's a sihr. Yeah. That's All, a magic everyone. does, yes. And I fe- felt that everyone is against The one me. who you love, the one who you came yeah. from the same family, you think they're enemies. Yeah. But in yeah. fact, Absolutely. the devil is doing it. And you know what? Uh, I started, it was around about that time, when so I don't I, research. I re- 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 around about that time when I realized hold on a second there's a group that I'm following it's not correct they don't have 
a an solution answer, yes yeah a, a solution to this problem but islam does have the solution to this problem absolutely then we then there, uh, there must be something i'm doing wrong here mm. and it was it was round about that time when i came across brothers who follow uh, the religion correctly upon the quran and sunnah the so called wahhabis and salafis yes, yes. the so called wahhabis and salafis <laughs> and i was wallahi <laughs> i was against them for so many years like every single yeah i was i, I was a disciple of subhanallah i was against, i was against them so let me, many let years. me pause you for a bit in this room mm. there was uh, two brothers very young 20 and 21 came and they're sufis they're following the proper hard course of they came here say we've been to so many maulanas so many no solution some give us tawi some give us water yellow water whatever you mention the list goes on and then i read on him he started going mental crazy mental and the brother the other one got shocked i've never seen anything like this what is this i told him this is ruqya and this is the madhab i follow this is the way i follow he totally disagree with it and left allahu akbar subhanallah this is how it is i remember what you just said you are totally against the uh, the salafs yeah yeah because mm. it's what we told here mm. they say the brainwash yeah they're saying mm. allah is like a man we were told that allah is like a man he sits on a chair la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you and, cannot and, yeah. laisa ka mithlu shay there is nothing like him this an ayah and you know but this was an explanation you cannot yeah. even imagine how he looks yes uh, it will lead you to disbelief yeah Well this yeah. was we were told that's what this the this is very wrong that's yeah. what they believe yeah. so because no we, we believe that either. because yeah. Allah said mm-hmm. in the Quran laysa ka mithli shay there is nothing like him yeah Allah the brain cannot think oh. you cannot imagine subhanallah he's the creator you cannot imagine it looks like him I mean this is kufr you cannot imagine look no you cannot you have to stop it yeah because he's already commanded there is nothing like you cannot start imagining allah al-a'udhu billah no we ask allah to protect us Amen. now you've been to all these uh, places yeah. you've been to all these maulanas yeah. what happened next what, what happened to your marriage what happened to I, your business i came across it was around about that time alhamdulillah allah is so merciful i came across some um, good brothers you said brothers, the salafs yeah. uh, and 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 i heard so much like negative things about these guys but well, one particular brother he was insistent he was saying that i should go, come to start coming to the classes i go just sit down just listen and go and it's only half an hour mm. yeah and I, and after i was reluctant because i was from the group that i was from and mm. I, i didn't really fancy anything else uh but when i w- i went to the first one and uh, honestly alhamdulillah it was an eye opener it, it was um It was uh, it, it was specifically going through um, the 40 hadith of Imam An-Nawawi. Mm, alhamdulillah. But that particular uh, Imam, incident, mashallah, he was a youngish guy and the way he spoke, the way he he conveyed the message, it was like this. He'll explain it with evidences from the Quran and Sunnah and it's, it, his thing was take it to leave it. Of course that's how it's supposed to be that's how it. Muhammad saw yeah. he used to do Yeah and then I started mm. to study You take it or leave it Yeah absolutely yeah. black and white Yeah, yeah. I studied mm. uh, I went to uh, the the aqida class uh, classes uh usul thalatha mm. and that's when I came across that you shouldn't jinn thing that became very clear mm. alhamdulillah the jinn issue became very is very clear that you can't um you can't consult with the jinn and ask them this and that and the other Oh no Allah says in the Quran In Surah Al-Jinn Allah says when no rijal min al-ins ya'udun bi rijal min al-jinn fa zadum raq the man from the human being asking the jinn for help yeah. he will deviate him more subhanallah and yeah. you know what sheikh um, today you'll find so many people yeah. asking help from the jinn yeah. well suffice uh, to say you know my my marriage was last few days left it was like that it felt like yeah. that what so happened to your marriage and what happened to your so business my marriage was exactly the same sheikh so you abandon it you well, divorce no, no i uh, uh, basically you could say we live separate Well, all these years for nearly uh, eight months yeah Separate. she she'd be at home 
for about one or two days a week, if that. And the rest of the days, she'd be at her... The mums and grand. Yeah. You and wonder who, so who, who married yeah. her, you or the... She was, do you know what she had? Do you know, yeah. I was so daft, so stupid, I didn't realise. When I opened the drawer, cupboard, their clothes aren't home. The clothes and uh, the, the kids' clothes, they were in, in Rotten Store. It took me so long to realise that this living arrangement... That she's living there. I, it took me so long to realize this. And there's a lot of people like that today. A lot, a lot. And I, few I'd, days I'd, stay, back I'd stay home by myself. You know what I mean? I'd be at home by myself. And it was not good. It was, there were very dark days. I started putting weight on. Uh, I'll start eating two weeks solid. Uh, months and months solid where I, I, I'd had to have fried chicken. And that was my highlight. Oh, stuff for Allah. You, should, you love Sheikh, it. Do you know what? My but it wasn't of my sad day mm. was mm. having ch- fried chicken. Mm. That was the highlight of the day. Yeah. And uh, Salah, it took a hit big time. I was just about holding, I was crying and said, Allah, I, I find, I'm finding it really difficult. So I pray my, f- f- my fard and that's it. Mm. My fajr, I started, m- I couldn't get up. I could hear the alarm, I switch it off, I go back to sleep and I don't realize I've done it. And I'd, and I'd wake up and, I, and I'd read. I was heavy. I was like, like, like in a... It was the magic doing yeah. that to you. But how was your relation, uh, you and your wife? You said argument, yeah. the business that going the, down. Yeah, that, that was, uh, uh, by that point, the business, I, I just closed it. Yeah. Subhanallah. I, I took a normal, uh, no, I didn't take a normal job. I con- uh, Subhanallah, this is another one. I convinced myself that... I can't design. I'm not a designer. Although I was qualified, I was mm. doing it for a long time. Alhamdulillah, I made good money with it. It's my career. I convinced myself I have to leave this and do taxis. Subhanallah. And taxis is where uh, it's a fresh change mm. and you'll, you'll make money there that way. I did. I took up uh, uh, the, uh, the training and everything. I spent a lot of time uh, and I did taxis. Mm. But in fact, it wasn't you. It was the shaitan bombarding you to you leave your what? job. On the first mm. day yes. of taxis, mm. I sat in the car. And I cried. Subhanallah. I said, what have I done? It was on the first day, because what have I done? And I thought, I, and, 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 and I, I, again, it was the same issue, Sheikh. It's the exact same issue. Subhanallah. Uh, the money, the car, the, it, the stress was great. Mm. Everyone else was making. Because, because they done sihr rizq on you. Again, I, I, again, I wasn't 100% convinced about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I was ninety. I, I was eighty percent. I said, "Yeah, there might be something there," yeah. because my business, the way it went down, yeah. uh, it was yeah. I thought this. this they do should. this. They do this. The business you've just closed yeah. your business and everything. So first to say, you know what, Sheikh? I, yeah. I, I I knew I had to this close no, it. Th- this marriage I, to I end to it. it. Yeah. 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 I was working. Alhamdulillah, I was working at a charity at that time. Yeah. And it was, it was, it was left the taxi. Good. Yeah. Left the yeah, business. I left the taxi. I left every, the business. Everything yeah. you touch. To dust. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Subhanallah. And and uh, this is called sihr al rizq, the black magic of hindering your yeah. rizq. But, yeah, but you know, Alhamdulillah, mm. this is the, this is another strange thing. Mm. Even beyond the troubles and everything, deep down, I know that one day this is all gonna finish. Alhamdulillah. Whether absolutely. I when I die or next month or next year, something Allah will, I know this. I of course. Know this. The, there's I no know situation this. which is permanent. Yeah. Yeah. And I know Allah's there. And all, I, I, and honestly, I, I'm having, I'm, I'm, to, I'm, I'm asking Allah, you know, I'm getting my moments and I, 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 and I ask Allah, ya Allah, you know, show me the way. Ya Allah, guide me, mm. you know. And subhanAllah, I'd, um, I, like I said, you know, you, I, I, I kept you, studying. Yes. Um, and you came across I learned about mm. Ruqya mm-hmm. and this, this is a correct way to do it Alhamdulillah okay? yes but guess what Sheikh no. because I was still I was still half house I didn't want to abandon my the, the group that I was with completely the Deobandi no I didn't want I didn't want to leave them Sheikh yeah. because what, what, them, what was the group uh, the, 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 yeah Deobandi yeah, yeah. 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 and you know I still say mm. I still say amongst them honestly Alhamdulillah they're good brothers a, top Genuine top top brothers who and uh, amongst them are guys with solid aqidah, solid mm. aqidah. Mm. They may go uh, the, uh, do a few th- other things wrong, 
And some of them, they, they, they might be matched. I don't know. Mm. Allah knows best. You, so if, you, if you're not following the correct way, your aqidah is going to be smashed. Yeah. 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 Your aqidah, you cannot water down Islam. No, no, no. no, no. You will, no. You, it's yourself. But, yeah. yeah. For the sake of your group, you can't. Oh, yeah. You cannot sugarcoat. One particular brother, he took me, kidnapped me, I call it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, took me, and uh, Rukia was performed on me. Mm -hmm. And I, what I happened? To the Quran. I didn't react much. Hardly any. What I was, happened? My head, head was on fire, I felt. And my body was extremely hot. That's it. And he said, oh, there's a black dog. I'm thinking. How did he know? Uh, uh, I'm thinking, uh, uh, Allah, 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 I don't know. Shit. Yeah, because you never reacted. You just felt hot. and. I, yeah, we was reacting. I was, apparently, I was reacting. But All right. I couldn't see. All right, okay. From outside, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You've been closing your eyes and things yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Anyway, uh, after that, I'm thinking, right. These... these uh, I don't know if it was worse, but I'd put it down to my own Iman as well. Right. I'd say, I'm thinking, nah, these guys, Rukhia, they just use Quran. Maybe if they use Quran and the other stuff, that might be better. Or oh, Ta'weez and everything. This, this is yeah, the shaitan is, is wants to do that. This is a that. conversation that's taking place in the back of my mind. The, the, this is a shaitan. Shaitan was is yeah. doing that to you, giving you and, thought. Yeah. Uh, was spoke, he was speaking to you because the human being and shaitan they communicate through thought. Yeah, and you know because I, because I've not experienced proper ruqya. I mean ruqya where there's an effect has taken place. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna die like this. I'm gonna have this. That's how I'm gonna die. Mm. But anyway, a few. I, I, I like I said. I it was around about that time. I made uh, someone. I took advice from brothers, from uh, people of knowledge. Uh, regarding my uh, wife at the time, and I told them about the relationship. I goes, "What you do? You're not even married. You're not married. Mm. It's not a marriage." Mm, absolutely true. I goes, "You're not. There's no nothing there. Yeah. What are you doing?" I goes, mm. "Look, I'm holding on because of my son. That's it." Yeah, you should not be doing that as well. Yeah. Mm. So uh, a year, more than that, more than that, we weren't even. We're not even married, Sheikh. Mm. And I said, "I'm going to do istikhara because you don't want to make any rash, rash decisions." Mm, rational, yeah. Uh, I made I made lots of dua. I, made, I did sahara, and I saw in a dream very clearly that my wife at the time she was in the form of a python, a snake, and it was a huge snake. No. It was this big. It's this fat, mm. and it was in the bedroom, in my in, in the uh, uh, in the bedroom, mm. and uh, I went up to the snake and I grabbed the head of the snake, and I. I picked it up and I tried to break his teeth. Mm, um, that was it. That was the end of the end of it. But I woke up, Sheikh, and I was like distraught. Mm. Do you know why? Mm. Because I know I have to leave the marriage. Marriage is not the problem here. I leave the marriage. But you know what the thing was? The only thing that was keeping me in that marriage it was my son. son and do you know what? I, I was so attached to him. Mm. He was so, he's very, we're very close. He was three years old. He's very, mm. Very, very uh, attached, you know. So you abandon your marriage, you divorce the woman, yeah, I, and then and what then happened basically we, with, we, with the uh, ruqya? We, yeah, and we decided, well, I didn't even start no ruqya then. I thought if I divorce her, then it's going to be finished. Mm. The marriage, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the magic is going to break. Mm. I thought, <laughs> you know, um, and I divorced her pretty much straight away. I started start planning to get married again. Hmm. Now, Sorry, when you divorced her, what was your relation between you and your mom, and what's the ruqyas? It wasn't. It was the same, Sheikh. I'd mm -hmm. say it was the same uh, because randomly I knew my mom was reacting like to me, saying, mm -hmm. "What are you doing at home?" and all sorts of things. And even my sister was saying, "Look, I think there's still, there's still might be something still there." Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't know. But anyway, I left it because I didn't want to know. At this point, at this point, so mentally, I'm gonna stick to the Quran. I'm going to stick to my salah and they, they, as far as I was concerned, there was not many people doing ruqya at the, at mm, the time. Mm. So I didn't really get any ruqya done. I got married uh, uh, to my new wife. Again. Yeah, I got married, remarried. Uh, alhamdulillah, look, we got on. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Alhamdulillah, we got mm. on. We have, we have things in common and um, subhanAllah, pretty much straight away in the first week, my, my wife, she had a dream that there was a magician in the dream and he was doing something or other. Mm, uh, and I was saying, don't worry about him. Mm -hmm. Allah, Allah will protect us. Absolutely. Uh, don't worry. I did, uh, and she just woke up and told me this and she doesn't dream normally. So I said, that should have been an alarm bell. Mm. But again, 
regarding Ruqya, I had very little knowledge. Now, what happened? What what happened after that? You went and have and another Ruqya. Yeah, mm-hmm. so no, no Ruqya. Tell me about I the Ruqyas. Yeah. I thought, don't get Ruqya done. Mm-hmm. Keep asking Allah for help, and inshallah, things will get better. Uh, and then I st- uh, and and you know what, Sheikh, the, things got bad and bad. And he was like, we were having an argument every with week. a new wife. Yeah, every week over nothing. My wife. That's what magic cries is. over nothing, and I got mm. I got uh, so tired of it. I got sick of it, and uh, subhanallah, things got really bad to the point where I said, you know, man, the, uh, something uh, needs to be yeah, done. Yeah, something needs to be done. So we had kids. We already had kids. Alhamdulillah. Mm. Uh, we had two kids at that time, two, uh, one boy and a girl, alhamdulillah. And I said, no, we, we, I have to do something. So I did a lot, I started doing... Research. Yeah, I did it properly. I started doing research on, on Rukhya, how to form Rukhya. I went through the courses on uh, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. There's no one who is going to do it publicly in our community anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and I started, I did uh, my first Rukhya for diagnosis. Yourself, self-diagnosis. Yeah, self-Rukhya. And, and what happened? I reacted. Straight away? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Towards the end, I reacted. Basically, what happened is I fall asleep, I start dreaming. I start seeing myself when I was, uh, I don't know, younger, and I was crossing a road. And I'm thinking, hey, woke up. I, I, I was reciting, I'm like, uh, it was like this. Uh, um, then what happened like next? Fall, fall then after that, what happened? I started um, doing self here mm. every day. I was reading a, a, a portion of the Quran. Um, and I said, even if it takes six, seven years, it'll go. But you know what, Sheikh? I got a call from, from a brother. He said, no, go to someone who knows. And he recommended I go t- and see a guy, a Sheikh called Sheikh, uh, Khalid, uh, Sheikh Khalid. And he's from Birmingham and London. Mm. Before that, have yeah. you not met anybody? Yes, Me? I did, Sheikh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was one other guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. So there was another person. Um, mm. I went. I went to a guy again. He was recommended, mm. and he does rukia. And I've seen some of his videos as well online. Mm-hmm. And I said, I went for the rukia. Mm-hmm. And I will tell you, what, he's from he's from Derby. Mm-hmm. And I, I went. He started uh, reciting and I was reacting pretty much straight away. I started laughing and crying. And my stomach kept going, I was breathing heavy and my stomach was going up and down. Mm-hmm. Okay, and 20 minutes later, I, my, 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 uh, his, the rookie had finished. He stopped here and he said, right, there's nothing wrong with you. Subhanallah. And the brother who was with me came and he goes, I'm really sorry, Mustafa. This guy, I don't know why, he's misdiagnosed you. Mm. But... I uh, I I didn't really take offense to you or anything. Mm. I said, you know, I know that there's something there now. Hundred mm. percent, there's something there because I've never seen this kind of reaction. Mm. After that, you went yeah. home and then relaxed and then. And then uh, and then I, I saw uh, a sheikh, uh, another sheikh. How did you saw sheikh, sheikh another sheikh? How? And so basically, yeah, I, was, I went back to my own rukia, mm. and so another brother called me, uh, called me over and said, listen, go to uh, someone who knows. He knows a Yemeni sheikh. Mm. His name is. Uh, he's a uh, Tanzanian Yemeni mm. uh, and uh, his name is Sheikh Khalid. Go and get uh, a I said, No, I don't want to go, man. Honestly, I'm happy the way I'm away, where things are. I'm going to do my own Rukhya. I'm seeing, I'm going to see differences. I'll increase um, connection, my connection with Allah. Alhamdulillah. I said, No, it's very good what you're doing. You should do it. But to mm. remove it, go yeah. to someone who knows. Yeah. There's nothing wrong having self Rukhya, and yeah. on top of it, you need somebody yeah, yeah, to watching your progress absolutely mm. and you know what because my my wife's from uh, london mm. we decided listen let's go to london and visit yeah, yeah i'll visit this guy mm. and i said i'll visit him because only because my brother which i, I have respect for he said go to guy. so i went do you know what my expectation was here mm. nothing will happen i'm gonna go i'm gonna listen to quran i'm gonna get a headache my head's gonna be hot I'm going to come home. You, like the previous one? Yes. So I went, Sheikh, and basically it was, I'd say, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, it's from Allah, that my reactions were severe, extreme reactions. SubhanAllah. To the point where I started vomiting on the way back home. Mm, SubhanAllah. And Allahu Akbar. Uh, 
And you know what? What you know what was amazing? Mm. It wasn't the sheikh or anything. Mashallah, may Allah preserve this guy. Allah Muhammad. May Allah preserve him because you know, it was the fact that the Quran. He was reciting the Quran, sheikh, and he was making du'a. Well, this is the correct. That's do. all that he was doing. Mm. And this, you know what? The reactions. Very, you only see somebody doing that. Yeah. He, this person is different, Akhi, because these two combinations are very high. Because Allah says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِ فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ When my slave asks me, I'm very closer to him. Closer to what? Make, when you make dua. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِ فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَ التَّدَعْ To answer your duas. Mm. So, Quran, Ruqya, is Quran and dua. Yeah, they so. need to be shoulder to shoulder. Allah One ayah, dua. One ayah, dua. Or oh, ten ayahs, dua. Yeah. It is superior. And, I, that's, that's and one, the, one of the yeah. weapons mm -hmm. shaitan fears is dua. Subhanallah. Shaitan fears dua. Because he knows you're certain that there's a creator. Yeah. Him, his job is what? Yeah. To give you doubt. There's no creator. There's no hope. Allahu Akbar. You know what, Shaykh? You mm. know what happened that day? Mm. Forget a recovery. Mm. Forget a, a, anything like that. What happened? I, as far as I was concerned, I witnessed... The miracle of the Quran. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Because uh, I, 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 he wasn't. He didn't ask for my mother's maiden name. Of course, you. No, this is kufur. This is wrong. Birth, nothing yeah. like yeah, that. This is wrong. He, he didn't. I don't. He, I don't even. Th he, he didn't even ask me for my name. Because mm. that was your name, brother. Mm. Uh, he, he didn't even say. I don't. He, I don't even remember him saying that. Yeah. You know. Because uh, uh, and you know, Subhanallah. Like I said, I, my body was on fire. After the Ruqya, my body was on fire. My shoes were over there, and I can't. Rem I can't remember what happened. Mm. You know what I mean? But I, I remember my my legs were shaking. Mm. Every, oh, the whole body. Yeah, it was shaking. Trembling. And I'm, and then I, I, I said, Sheikh, yeah, it's 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 Ayn, isn't it? I've got Ayn. He goes, No, you've got uh, there's Jin. You got Jinni with you. I was okay. So anyway, Alhamdulillah. Look, I got a few sessions done from him. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But at this point, my confidence grown up. In the Quran, my belief in the Quran that Shifa is from Allah and is through the Quran. Mm. And that it, it became, I confidently can talk to any of these, uh, these Maulanas, even these, these guys who do Ta'wiz, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to speak to them. Refute them. I don't think I can refute them because I don't have the knowledge. They'll, mm. they'll probably do mental uh, gymnastics with me and kind of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. beat me. They yeah? need to be refuted. But you know what, Sheikh? I wanted one of them to come and say, Mustafa, uh, you you know you hang around with these selfies is no good. I one of them to come and, and say that to me. No, they, will you know not, they will not do that. No. Yeah, I don't know. What, well, I, I know one. And, 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 but you know what, Sheikh? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I carried on. I carried on with my Rukia. Alhamdulillah. And Alhamdulillah, a lot of things did improve. But... When the lockdown happened, I uh, the sheikh went away to Yemen, to Yemen mm. uh, and uh, there was no contact or anything. Mm. But things Situation. did get bad, bad for me again mm. during when I had COVID. Subhanallah. And I started seeing dreams that my lower back is something's punching me. Mm. Uh, before then, just before the COVID kicked in, I went for um, I went to. Um, Went for my Hajj as well. Alhamdulillah. I performed Hajj, Alhamdulillah, and that was a beautiful man. Subhanallah. Um, I also saw a dream there that the genies are the genies are there. Mm. Anyway, uh, so I'm thinking, okay, there's something there still, and but it only manifests itself when I did a business. Yeah, because because they did sihrut rizq. Yeah. Yeah, sihrut al rizq. Black magic of hindering your rizq. Yeah. So anything you touch. Mm. Will be will go to yeah. this. There was many other many other mm. business opportunities here. They go on dust. Yeah. They start and and they they go just go waning down again. Yeah. Uh, something extraordinary would happen. Yeah, the like, only way the only way forward for your situation is keep on doing yourself self yeah. yeah. and get read yeah. uh, regularly. And go to like yeah. you, now you have a solid experience. Yeah, don't absolutely. just go to any. Yeah, rapping. no, no, definitely not. Yeah. And you know, uh, yeah. it's around about that time in December when uh, when the Corona kicked in. Right. Uh, that I decided. Uh, I thought you know, no, I need to find a raki, but I didn't want to go to any guy, any other oh, guy. Yeah, because of the experience. But what did happen? I I went through YouTube. Uh, 
because usually I don't, I don't for my, for myself I like to listen to things that benefit me directly benefit me absolutely so, yeah, of, so yeah. rookie videos yeah, uh, yeah. if they benefit me I'm going to I'm going to listen listen to them and that's when I come, came across one of your videos alhamdulillah mashallah and you know I, I thought I thought then you mentioned that uh you mentioned harmal seeds which I talked before as well mm. I used to, used to make you vomit no, absolutely. Yeah. I thought so okay uh I said I think I think this 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 shay is from Yemen then mm, alhamdulillah yeah Alhamdulillah, I said, uh, and then I said, you know what? Uh, I spoke to a few people that said, you know what? I'm, th- I'm thinking of going and visiting this this year. Alhamdulillah. So I went. Alhamdulillah, I went again. My ble- again, Sheikh, this is was was. Mm. Now this is was was. Mm. The was was was, no, this guy, he's gonna read, but he's not gonna be like Sheikh Khalid. He's gonna reacting. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna read, and you're gonna get a headache, and you're gonna come home. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Honestly, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know why this is from Shaitan. Yeah, man. of course, it but will I never came, stop. Alhamdulillah, look, and I, I say this to people who are listening, man. Mm. You know, if you have issues, yeah, if you have issues, seriously, get rid of the was was. Yeah, you want certainty, certainty. Certainty, of course, yakin. Let's say you don't. Let's say if, if you're fifty fifty, I have seer, I may not have seer. Yeah, go for ruqya. Even if it's ten percent, yeah. Go for ruqya because there's only benefit in it. Absolutely true. It's be- it, there's only benefit in it. Absolutely There's true. no harm in it. Yeah. Because they're not using nothing. And mm-hmm. uh, and you know what, Sheikh? Uh, as you know, uh, I reacted when you straight came. away. Yeah, yeah. Within 20 minutes. And I was... Sheikh, these reactions, I'd say, they were more prominent than the reactions I had before. Mm. Because they were, the reaction was like for 40 minutes straight. Mm. And I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Subhanallah. And then obviously, I, I'm more, Alhamdulillah, continued on, continued on. And I appreciate, Alhamdulillah, the fact that you give time. I spent a lot of time with you. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I call, call you anytime. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And I really appreciate that. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You know, uh, yeah. Make close uh, of dua. And you know what, Shaykh? Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. You know, um, it's sihr or no sihr. I'll tell you something. Alhamdulillah, mm. have confidence mm. that this manhaj is correct of course you you honestly of and course. i invite others mm. there are, and, and you know I, I'll, I'll mention something else this the way, only way the only mm. way forward is mm. to follow the ways of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam no any group yeah no any group if you start following group then you are becoming wrong and you know uh, yeah. this is another thing yeah. and and i say this to my my brothers uh, who i'm still close to alhamdulillah I don't call them. I call them Muslims. I don't of call course. them. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what, Shay? I say this to you, uh, to you guys. If you follow your group, there will be limitations. Absolutely true. They have parameters. You don't go beyond this area. Absolutely. So true. this person, he uses the Quran to heal. You're not going to go to him because he is of a group that you don't agree with. So you're not going to go. Yeah, there was wrong. people. Alhamdulillah. Through through this, the, the uh, some uh, I'd say so the open the guys they 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 actually visited Raqis who uh, followed the Quran and Sunnah. Alhamdulillah. And she, even Sheikh Khalid as well. But yeah. you know what, Sheikh? What I didn't like. They are still, whilst getting treatment, they are staunchly against. Yeah. Those guys, uh, the, uh, the yeah. Salafis. The, 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 this is the and thing. I couldn't believe. I don't understand this, Sheikh. You see, when you follow group. There's limitations. Yeah. The group calls upon limitations. Yeah. But when you follow Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, three generations. Yeah. There's no limitations. Subhanallah. Yeah. Because you're following the Quran and the Sunnah, yeah. what the Quran says and what the Sunnah says. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. Not what any anybody else says. Allah Allah. And when you look at the Imams, the great Imams, mm. exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, Imam Hanifa says. If you see one thing I say against any hadith, chuck it. Yeah, Allah. So we ask Allah to protect us yeah. and we ask Allah to make it easy for every believing man and woman. What advice can you give to the ones who are listening to you this? You know, subhanAllah, I'd say if you, the, the, the people of knowledge, I, I spoke to them as well. Uh, some of them I spoke to. I, I gave my uh, my story, my the, my experiences, mm. and I told them what the, what some of the these things that practices that your group uh, does is incorrect. Mm, it's nah. completely incorrect. Absolutely. It's kufr. Yes. It's kufr. Proper kufr. Mm. Um, and I've seen it. I've seen it. Mm. 
I'd say, if you know something, you shouldn't keep quiet about it. Absolutely true. Because your that particular group, the Diobandi group, and uh, the the Brelevi brothers, may Allah uh, guide the uh, guide us all, guide them and us. They approve of a lot of them. They approve of Tawiz. Now ask yourself this: I know my community community well. If Tawiz brought benefits, why is it I can go up and down every single house, and I know that person's got issues. This person's got issues. So many people who have got issues. Why is it some of your Maulanas, the ones who are sincere, they they call me up, they spoke to me, and I said, listen, listen, I've got I, I I got this issue. How do you deal with yours? How do you basically, alhamdulillah, get better? Mm. And and I and I, 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 I explain it to them, but they they keep it clandestine. They keep it quiet because they don't want to be known. Yeah, yeah, this I, I is wrong. That. How can you hide this one? You know one so thing what is. So what do you say? What, how would you advise the, 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 the you who actually know? One thing is, uh, I'm just gonna quote the quote of Bilal ibn Rabah radhiyallahu an. He say this: The truth is always the truth. And falsehood is always the falsehood. When the truth shift a little bit, is not the truth anymore. So there is a lot of people who wants to shift the truth and mix it with the falsehood. Sugarcoat Islam, yeah. and that is not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. The truth always stray. Yeah. The truth. You know, Allah says in the Quran, hmm. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya ayu ladhina amanu, taqullah wa qunu maha sadiqin. Fear Allah and become from the truthful ones. From the siddiq. To become from the truthful is high up. We ask Allah to make us from the truthful. You know, the, the ulama, they, 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 they guide. They're yes. supposed to guide. Yes. They should guide. Um, I feel that they've got something big on their shoulders, you know, Sheikh. As in, like, look, like I said, in our community, they know, they know, because they, they, they also tell me, look, this person got th this issue, that, uh, that issue. This uh, ulama, brother, let me pause for a bit. Mm. Uh, Allah has explained to us in the Quran. Mm. Allah has said there are some imams who are calling people upon hellfire. Now, if you know there is a lot of, and today, there is a lot of uh, black magic. There is a lot of people who are suffering spiritually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you hide, you're wrong. Yeah. If you don't find solution for your community, you're wrong. Yeah, sure. yeah okay. Yeah. You so have to find yeah. solution for your community. Yeah. yeah. Even if abandoning whatever you're following and follow the correct way. You have to find solution. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa says, you will never attain piety until you love what you love for yourself, you love for your brother. Now, if you're an imam and you're seeing your brother suffering, what sort of imam are you? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you ask know, Allah to make it easy. Uh, yeah, it, it took a while to, for me to kind of break off the shackles of the group. Alhamdulillah. You know, this is from Allah, took, brother. It took a while, Sheikh, I'll be honest with you. This is from Allah yeah. because Allah says, yeah. Whoever yeah. Allah has guided, no one can miss guy. Yeah. Because Shaitan al yeah. himself, who is yeah. there, he will try, but yeah. Allah has already guided the yeah. individual. Because you know, amongst the, amongst the, I'll, them. I'll, I'll use the, uh, the loosely, I'll use the words yeah. Salafi. Yeah. Amongst them, there are some very harsh individuals. Absolutely. And they argue, they refute, refute. The kids, they refute, 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 refute. <sighs> Subhanallah, spiritually, some of these guys are bankrupt, Sheikh. Achi, you know, so yes. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm desperately trying to. Not fall into this, into, into the... Remember, uh, remember one thing I told you. Do not follow a group. This is advice of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There will be so many groups. So many groups. Hold tight to my sunnah. Alhamdulillah, this is what I do. No group. Group bad. Group you're not calling upon Allah. You're calling upon group. Yeah, yeah. When you listen to all these guys you you you, you, yeah. to, you, to, you show me yeah. before, these guys are not calling upon Allah; they are calling upon their manhaj. Yeah. Manhaj. Yeah. Allah says in the Quran, "Wajalnakum shiratun minhaj." 
have made for you groups and managers. Allah made these groups and managers. But also Allah showed us the truth. Yeah. The correct manager is the correct manager of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah to make it easy for us. It was nice you being here. Jazakallah. Yeah. Wa akhiru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursalim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.